that by the time you're done reading this passage, you know what stealing thunder is, but let's just clarify, what is it? You reveal negative information about your client before the opponent does, right? It's not about revealing negative information about the other person. Okay, so which ones are we debating here, Annie? Yes? I thought D, because I was debating B and D, and I didn't, I don't know why I went with D and Z, but my problem with B was that I was like, well, it doesn't make any sense if he's not actually able to spin it. I don't know. Like, oh, you were worried about the, the limitation. Yeah, I was like, well, what if it's just like actually like so egregious of a plagiarism? <laughs> that like, that's just like a, you know, I don't know. Been, you know, I, no, I'm just, I'm laughing at the, the <laughs> example. It would have been guilty of plagiarism. You cheated on your test before. Um, disclosing in an opening statement of a defense against copyright infringement that one's client has in the past been guilty of plagiarism. It's negative information. It's a negative fact. And you're disclosing that about your client before the opponent does, your opponent. I think it just has to be an example of stealing thunder. Oh, okay. We, I mean, it could be. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, the limitation was, again, sort of just like a speculation by the author right. at the end. Like, maybe, hey, this might not be, if you can't spin it. Now, let's talk about D. What makes D wrong, do you know? Pointing out to jurors during opening statements the mistaken reasoning in the opponent's case. It's not really a disclosure on your end? It's not a ne it's not negative information. Really? It's more like their argument sucks because they're doing correlation causation, which we all learned in law school. No. <laughs> like you just you're you're t pointing out what's wrong with their reasoning as opposed to saying something wrong about your client and specifically a negative fact. Okay. I was between B and E, and I picked B. But okay. For E, I thought it was because you're disclosing damaging information yep. about your client. Yep. But is it, I wasn't sure why. So is it because you're. So you admit that it's guilty, but you're not trying to spin the guiltiness, or like you, you're like trying to go in a different. Well, they don't talk about how you could spin it or whatever. They just talk about the fact that. You've got to, uh, stealing thunder is disclosing negative information about your client before your opponent does. That's what it comes down to. That's just as the definition is in the first sentence or the passage, right? And that is revealing negative information. Okay. Because that's bad, right? Like, right. yeah, this guy's being charged with copyright infringement and he's done this before. Yeah, yeah. But, okay, so then for E? Yes. So you're, you're admitting that your client is guilty, which is bad. Oh, I thought this was wrong because <laughs> stressing that one's client, while technically guilty, I thought that was like, this is more than negative information. This is like, oh, we lost. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They're guilty, but... I don't think it's that, like, should... if it's that like, out... Like, well, it's the whole the... point of the trial is to figure out whether they're guilty, right? Well, yeah, but if you're, you could be on like the second part where you're deciding like punishments you know, with the judge. And then you are like, yeah, yeah I, okay, so, okay, let's assume that it's that situation, right? That you're trying to decide the punishment. I don't think admitting that your client is guilty is stealing thunder because everybody already knows that, right? Wait, why are you, oh, he's guilty. Yeah, that, you know. Or you could be at, like, the trial stage and you know you're going to lose. You just say, okay, he's guilty, and then you try. And then I just want to come before you all today. Look, my client did it. <laughs> <laughs> This is the most negative information I could muster. <laughs> and based on a passage I read in, on the LSAT, I should steal thunder. <laughs> yeah. Aha, I got there before you did. <laughs> I think it's just going too far. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, one way to think about this is be technically guilty. Almost it's like a, like a legal determination as opposed to negative information. Like, negative information to me sounds like facts. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so we talked about E, D, a C. You're not responding to an opposition that comes too late. And answer choice A, warning jurors that a client on the opposing side has a serious conflict of interest. That's pointing out a problem with the opposition. We're trying to point out a problem with our own side. Sound good? Okay. Questions? Yeah. 